Hello users of YouTube and welcome to yet a new episode of Daniel's Videos and Etc. Today we're going to be taking a look at this package that I got today from Brooklyn, New York. Shipped by a guy named Tony. I got this item on eBay and I, I don't remember exactly what this might be. I think it might be the uh, lenses kit I ordered for my camera. Close up macro lenses. So we'll see what that is. We're going to unbox it. We're going to put it on and we're going to see how it works with it. It's kind of an unboxing-ish kind of thing. Um, I haven't done an unboxing from a package like like a package from a very long time so kind of brings back old memories um, I did this a lot unboxing from packed items like this um, when I did uh, my PC build video so yeah without any much pain at all well actually it's a lot easier to open it once I actually pull some my back into it but yeah there you go alright so what is this all right, there we go. We have the Vivitar close-up macro lenses. Four-piece kit includes the macro, close-up, close-up again, and another close-up. So it's three close-up lenses and uh, one macro lens. At least that's what I think it is. And it is for the 58 millimeter diameter lenses. I hope I got this correct because my first time owning a DSLR camera, I don't know if I'm correct or not, but yep. All right, what is this? So it looks like we got a invoice on a piece of paper here, and a piece of pa um, and what is this? Returns. Interesting. They also this include this uh, return uh, paper. I've never seen it like that before, but they include a return uh, kind of fill in the mail thing and a, uh, an invoice on uh, kind of printed paper. But yeah, that's pretty much what it comes with. And the invoice, what's what's uh, yeah, okay, blah. Anyway, so, alright, so we're gonna go ahead and do the unboxing. Oh, actually, is there anything? Okay, anyway, yeah, okay, we're gonna go ahead and do the unboxing now. So, yep, uh, this is a Vivitar lens kit. I got this uh, on eBay for about maybe 10 or 11 bucks. I'll provide a link below, um, but it's for the uh, 58 millimeter uh, diameter lenses. So, opening the box up, we get a pouch that says Series 1 on it. Put that right here. And that is it. Okay, that was the quickest unboxing ever. So here we got this pouch. This is Vivitar Series 1 on it. Opening this pouch up, we get a lot of stuff. Well, we get four lenses in this little pouch bag and this book. So we're going to take out the book. It says the includes 1 plus, 2 plus, 4 plus, and 10 plus diopter filters. And uh, this shows what to do when service is needed. It tells the warranty and it shows introduction and note uh, lens sizes are available in 37 to 82 millimeters just in case um, and four close-up lenses it says what it comes with and a carrying bag which is pretty helpful um, and choosing your uh, using your close-up macro lenses and then to make sure that the camera uh, is in focus, manual focus mode and it says the depth of field will become narrow at higher magnifications set your aperture accordingly uh, ring flash or external flash using may be helpful. Caution, your camera's onboard flash will most likely produce a shadow in front of your lens. Um, it says make sure that the camera's in manual focus mode. That's all it says. Um, on my Holga, um, its close-up and macro lenses actually require you to turn the camera's focus knob to infinity. Um, it doesn't say to do that with these lenses, but then again, I've never owned these kind of lenses before. So here is our test camera, the Olympus E-Volt E510. Um, I did a video on it, so there you go. All right, so we got our four lenses here, and they're all in a plastic baggie. Uh, I believe it is actually glass because it certainly feels like it. This one I'm holding here is the macro lens, so I'm going to go ahead and take. I'm going to take test pictures with this camera, uh, different items, and it'll, I'll tell you guys what lenses it has on it. But for example, let's go ahead and open this bag up right here, and opening the bag. Best to grab the lens by the sides. Oh, that is a real piece of glass. So, that is your macro lens. And it is a Vivitar. It is actually pretty sturdy. It feels really good. Um, and this part around this ring right here feels really cold as well. So, I'm going to assume it's like a metalish kind of thing. But uh, well, it does feel sturdy. So, let's go see if this will fit on the camera. Hope to God it will. 
and it's turning. Ooh, yeah, it does. See, now the lens fits nice and snug on top of the camera, which is great. So that means 58 millimeter lenses. If you have a 58 millimeter diameter camera, it w I'm sorry, lens, it should say uh, somewhere on the lens itself that it's 58. Usually it says it on the bezel right here on the front. It may not see it very well, but it will say like um, the 58, and then it'll show a symbol similar to this one right here on the front of the lens that'll show you how big or the diameter of the specific lens you are using so that's how you will know to buy the correct size lens but yep we've got a 58 millimeter lens on here and this is the macro lens so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera on and we're gonna see exactly what this looks like now with this lens on everything you can see is out of focus so let me zoom out and uh, focus yeah but you can see it's a quite a bit different for the camera as it's not in focus very much. Um, that's because you got this macro lens on here that, well, it's going to be pretty hard for the camera to see, quite honestly. But that's, yep, all you have to do is just put the lens on the top and you're good to go. You just got to screw it in. Now, of course, you got to be careful when handling these kind of lenses. It's best to grab it around the bezel right here. So, yep, there we go, one lens down. All right, guys, I think you get the picture of all these lenses. Uh, each one of them are different. Each one of them is going to have a different focal or um, different kind of uh, time zoom thing. Um, pretty much, I'm going to do, of course, I'm going to take a few pictures with the uh, macro lens and stuff. And you guys get to see, and the close-up lens, you guys get to see the different comparisons. They will be added at the end of the video. And, of course, I will explain which lens is what. Oh, and while I'm at it, I'm just going to here show some segments of each of the lens. Here we have the plus four um close-up lens right here so there you go black and this is the 58 millimeter as well and uh, we also have here is the plus two close-up lens um, 58 millimeter like I of course and I slip that back in there um, and here is the plus one close-up lens and uh, yep Just, this one's like uh, doesn't have much of a uh, convex uh, shape to it so it's not gonna really make much of a difference if I put it up to the camera as you can see the lens is right now over it and it looks the same um, but yep guys that is uh, yeah those are those lenses
So guys, I guess this is it for this review. Thank you for watching this short episode, sort of, not really, episode of Daniel's Videos and Etc. Unboxing the Vivitar Series 1 uh, 58mm lens kit. Uh, of course, I'll be doing more camera videos in the future related to this camera and shooting. So that's going to be very fun, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, just a side note, uh, when I bought this on eBay, it said it is specifically for the Canon cameras, like the XS something or rather, but, um, uh, well, it works pretty fine with the Olympus, so it's for any camera as long as you have the right lens size. But guys, thank you for guys for watching. Like, dislike, favorite, share, subscribe, whatever you do on YouTube to get the video to do its thing. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one where I might be talking about the timer, which I will be unboxing. And... Uh, Guys, I'll see you later.